uh, so now we have generated the netlists and uh, as you can see that this folder uh, in which we created the project by EDK uh, there is this folder HDL which contains all the wrappers and uh, there is this implementation folder which contains all the combined uh, compiled netlist files like this file so uh, what we'll do now is uh, we'll create a ISC project and we'll use the files Uh, and we'll use the files uh, created by EDK in this uh, in this project. Uh, so now we'll create a new project uh, in the ISC. Uh, project name is System, and all these are correct. Uh, the reason uh, why we are creating a ISC project is because we want to edit some of the files that were created by EDK and uh, that cannot be done from inside EDK, that has to be done through ISC. Uh, so this is the project which we are working on and now we will add a copy of the source uh, that was created by uh, the ED. Uh, so we'll be adding a copy of the source. Uh, it is in the folder in which we created the project by the EDK. Uh, so you have to copy the RS232 wrapper and the system VHDL file. So as you can see, uh, all these files are the netlist files and uh, we have to uh, we have to tell the uh, synthesizer where to look for uh, the compiled netlist. So uh, you have to you have to this uh, you have to change the read course directory and uh, the course for our project are in the project of the EDK uh, so now because we want to uh, change the structure of the URD we, have, we want to change the VHDL file so uh, we'll have to specify that uh, the URD which we are using is not a black box uh, so it's written uh, somewhere in the system.vhdl file So, uh, so you have to comment this line number 970 that the attribute RS232 uh, is a black box. Uh, it's not a black box. Uh, and now we'll try to synthesize uh, the system.vhdl file. And we'll be getting some errors because uh, we have not included all the required libraries. So, as you can see, that it is saying that this XPS URT Lite version 1.0 cannot be found. Uh, so we have to create a library with this name and then uh, we'll do something. Uh, so you'll select a VHDL library uh, with this name. Uh, so now you have to add the required VHDL files uh, to this library which we have created. So we'll add a copy of the source. 
and uh, the sources are available Uh, the sources are available in the EDK installation directory uh, in the hardware subdirectory and uh, in the Pico directory so you have to search for the URT light uh, this one so you have to add all the VHDL files uh, corresponding to this core. Okay. Uh, and now we'll try to synthesize our project again and we'll again be getting some errors. Uh, again the error will be uh, because we don't have a library which is required. In this case uh, the library is this proc common version 2 and again we have to create a library with this name and add the required VHDL files from the ADK installation directory so we'll create a new library of this name and then we'll add the copy of the source from the ADK installation So you have to add all these files. So again we'll try to synthesize the project and we'll again get some errors again uh, due to unavailable libraries. Uh, but it can be corrected if we if we include this library. Uh, PLB V46 slave single version 1.0 so you have to uh, create a library with this name and import the VHDL files from the ADK installation so uh, now we have this library and we'll be adding the copy of the source from the ADK installation PLB sorry PLB 46 slave yeah uh, this is the required oh sorry this is the required library and we'll be adding all the HDL files uh, so we did all this because uh, we want the URT to be our URT and not the URT that is synthesized by the EDK and now when we try to synthesize it I think it will succeed uh, so as you can see the synthesis is now succeeding and we don't have any missing libraries <laughs> 